Hey guys, Epidemic 2020 here, and today I wanted to talk with y'all a little bit about something called religious accommodation. Alright, so the main idea behind a religious accommodation, at least here in America, is that religious folks don't have to violate their sincerely held religious beliefs at their workplace, so long as the main aspects of their job still end up getting done, and it's not unreasonable or too costly for their employers. So, there's a couple instances where I think religious accommodation is actually a pretty good idea. So, for example, if you have a dress code where you're not allowed to wear a hat, but you have a Muslim lady who believes she has to always wear a hijab, then it's not the end of the world, right? She can still wear that and her job can still get done. If you have a Jewish person who is not allowed to touch pork with their bare skin and they work at a restaurant, then you can give them some gloves. And if you have a Catholic person who's against selling contraception and they work at a pharmacy, then they can just get their fellow employee to handle those particular sales. And so there's a way that you can, can not violate your conscience but still get your job done. Right? So sometimes it seems like a good idea, but there's one instance where I think religious accommodation makes no sense at all. And that is where you work for an organization you think is doing something truly morally evil. Asking for religious accommodation in that sense sounds very backwards, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, let's say you work for, or you live in, a very messed up state, a very immoral state. And for some reason, the state you live in allows something like the Mafia to exist. So let's say you go and you start working for the Mafia. You're employed by the Mafia. And after you start working there, they change some of their policies and they start killing people. And they want you to start killing people. In this imaginary state, you could seek religious accommodation. You could say, I personally don't like killing people, so I want them to accommodate my religious views. Which means you, you make sure your job still gets done, but you don't get your hands dirty. Maybe you let your, your fellow mafia members do all the killing while you turn a blind eye. You can close your eyes and maybe wash your hands of it. In that scenario, I think the person working for the mafia is still a scumbag. Right? They are not taking the moral high ground. They're not doing anything courageous by asking for religious accommodation. In fact, they're doing something very cowardly. Right? All that religious accommodation does in that particular circumstance is makes them, makes them feel all right with turning a blind eye towards evil. It allows them to uh, sell their labor to an organization which is doing evil acts, not stand up for what's right, and actually get paid by these people who are doing evil. So it just sounds very backwards to me there. It actually reminds me a lot of, of Pontius Pilate, a story in the Bible there, where we have Pontius Pilate he's about to execute an innocent guy, a.k.a. Jesus, and, uh, and he feels really bad about it. He doesn't want to violate his conscience. He doesn't want to do it. But instead of, uh, instead of standing up for what's right, he decides that he's going to let the job get done. He's going to let somebody else do it, though. So he turns over power to the mob while he washes his hand of it. In that circumstance, I think Pontius Pilate is still a scumbag. So, there's a big difference between taking the moral high ground and then convincing yourself that you have a good reason for allowing injustice to continue. Right? Religious accommodation here seems like a giant loophole that allows us to just feel okay with not doing what's right and allows us not to risk losing our precious paycheck. Right? So, I think there's a lot of ways which you can stand up against an organization which is doing evil. A religious accommodation just isn't one of them. I personally, I believe in a de deity which is smart enough to know the difference between somebody actually doing what's morally right and somebody closing their eyes really tightly when immoral actions are taking place. Now, as we learned in the biblical example of the Good Samaritan, human beings have an almost endless ability to come up with excuses and justifications why we don't have to stand up for what's right or why the things that we do don't actually count as evil, even though they pretty clearly are. Um, so that being said, there's a pretty funny commercial that exemplifies this particular mistake humans make. It's called a kosher switch, and I'm going to leave a link down in the more info section to a, a commercial for them, and you should really look at it because it's pretty humorous, and I think you'll get the connection to this video. Anyway, as always, test everything, hold on to the good.